In this video, I'm going to be showing you my Astral Natural Born of the Void boss strategy. So if you've been stuck on this boss, watch on to find out what I do to get me through it. So first off, as the fight starts out, you're going to have to dodge his laser beam, pretty self-explanatory. But I like to run towards the boss at kind of like a medium pace. The reason for that is you can actually bait his tail attack, where he like attacks with his tail, and then a second time. If you don't get close to him too fast, and you want to be able to do that, because this will give you an opportunity to buff like right under his tail if you get in close enough. Just make sure that you're not getting hit. Or, you know, get some spells off, like I like to use like my Dragon Breath spell here, or something that maybe has a longer animation so that you're ready to go immediately afterward. There's really only a few things you need to look out for during this fight. First of all, if you see him do any sort of swipes at you, he usually leaves a trail of purple magic afterward. So you either want to roll through that if you're standing on top of that swipe, or if you're at mid-range, you want to roll backward, wait for the magic to explode, and then get back into close range. Periodically, he'll raise up into the air and then slam down. The best thing to do here is just move forward, roll forward, let it go over you, turn around and start striking him. Be on the lookout when this happens, though. A lot of times, if you're going ham on him, he'll like raise up in the air and put his hands down in the ground and start doing these like purple waves that are on the ground. You can roll backwards to avoid him, but if you get stuck in a, like, a long animation, like if you're using a weapon art, you're probably going to take damage, so make sure not to go too crazy at this point. Periodically during the fight, he's going to teleport and always look left immediately when you see this teleport happen because sometimes he'll come and try and grab you and it's basically a one-shot attack if he grabs you. So always look left. That grab always seems to come from the left for me. So if you look left immediately and you see him coming for you, make sure you dodge quickly out of the way. And if you look left immediately and you don't see him, then he's probably behind you somewhere and you got plenty of time to turn around and find him before sort of rinsing and repeating the beginning strategy. Dodge the beam bait the tail attack, etc. Sometimes he'll sort of raise up and like all this purple mist will come on the string and he'll call some like these meteors down. What I found that works best during this phase is just move left and just start dodge rolling as soon as you start seeing those meteors come out. At like 99% of the time, you'll they'll either land in your iframes or they won't hit you at all. And that's just a really easy way to handle that aspect of this fight. Those are really the main things in this fight you need to look out for. Having a little bit of range, like if you have any ranged magic at all is good. Or if you have like throwing something or you know if you have like a bow um any of those can really help in like the mid-range situations because when you get close to him he tends to do melee attacks but those are not hard to read you can generally roll through, uh, roll through them and get behind him if you're playing a pure melee build the ones i mentioned before are really the attacks that you need to look out for in this fight